Miss May Ping, Academic Director Miss Anusha Sante, teachers, fellow students, and citizens of Westlake. I'm Jimin from 10W. And I'm Jiyoung from Tanas, and we will be your MCs for today's assembly. For today's agenda, as usual, we will start off with the national anthem, school pledge and anthem, as well as our birthday shout out. Then we will have Gabriel, who will be giving his speech that he recently gave in Gavel Club. After that, we will announce some ongoing events following to Kiwiwen from Leo Club to give a reminder about the Leo Club Hunger Awareness Project. Lastly, we will end the assembly with some SOPs and gentle reminders. Now, let us rise for the national anthem. <laughs> Invite Gabriel to lead us in a school clash. Thank you, Jermaine and Joo Please place your hands on your heart. We, the students of Westlake International School, pledge ourselves before God and all mankind to the pursuit of excellence and the fulfillment of our potential through the following principles to develop wisdom, to choose between right and wrong in all situations to carry out responsibilities with enthusiasm, integrity, and resourcefulness, to display kindness, empathy, respect, and self-control towards our fellow men, to be determined in carrying out our aspirations and communicating them to others. Lastly, to reflect daily upon the goodness around us that we may improve and correct ourselves. Back to you, Jermaine and Joo Young. Please remain standing for the school song. Children of Wesley School, hear our nation's call to think upon all that's right and true and be kind to the least the small. Though we be from different places, over the hills and wavy seas, we're all here to see what makes us the best. Please be seated. Firstly, we would like to give a shout out to all those who are celebrating their birthday from 14th to 20th of March. So, we have Wang Shen Wen from 12W, Vincent Adaliga from 4W, Inaya Shami from 3W, Ip Shi Wei from 6W, 
Sakura Harike from 13W, and lastly, Wong Anjie for 11I. A very big happy birthday from all of us, and we wish you a many years of happiness. Now we would like to invite Gavlier Gerville to give a speech of his CC2, The Truth About Gaming. Good morning, school. Many people have probably told you, games are bad for you. Have any of you ever wondered whether there's proof of that? Don't worry, there isn't much. In fact, old and new studies have recently have shown that there is scientific evidence supporting the exact opposite. Most of us like playing games. We are willing to spend hours in front of a screen playing Bit Wars or having a PvP in Valorant. While doing so, did you ever stop to think about what other benefits there are to gaming? Something which I think all of us have heard before is that gaming worsens your vision. It rots your eyes. That's not entirely true. Those who play ac less action games have average vision. Nothing wrong with that. However, according to National Geographic, those who play action games for multiple hours a week have even better vision than non-action gamers. A study was conducted by the University of Rochester, which asked experienced action players to play Call of Duty Infinity War and Unreal Tournament 2004. They asked experienced non-action players to play Sims 2, a life simulation game. In this test, the, the action gamers had the ability to track several objects moving at once, or pay close attention to many events going on at the same time. They also had a contrast sensitivity function. This is the ability to notice even subtle changes in shades of grey against a coloured backdrop. The non-action gamers had none of these benefits. This data completely contradicts what many of us have been told before, which is that gaming worsens your eyesight. Another surprising perk of playing games is that it improves your reaction times. Take Valorant. Most people think that all these shooter games are just a waste of time. They are not. Executing combos and inputs can reduce your reaction time without giving up accuracy. In a study conducted by the Central Washington University, they asked people to identify which shape was the odd one out. In this test, gamers were 40 milliseconds faster than non-gamers, which is a pretty significant amount. Games can also improve your social skills. This is quite surprising considering most adults wouldn't agree and would describe gamers as antisocial. However, when playing multiplayer games such as Battle Royales, the most important thing to keep in mind is communication. Tactics are crucial to winning, and how will a plan form if no communi community collaboration is involved? If a good strategy is executed, no one can say that no teamwork was needed. Good communication skills are needed outside the gaming world, even more so. Games can also improve your problem-solving and decision-making skills. In most games, tr a trial and error approach is present. This increases your confidence, which means you can solve more problems that come your way. According to Business Insider in 2015, Forza, a racing game, helps train your decision-making. Here, players need to react to sharp turns in a track, always taking the wrong course. Another example is Subway Surfers. I've lost a few games, simply because I didn't see a train coming or swipe to the wrong side too early. Learning how to make effective decisions is in the top three things employers look for, according to Forbes. Games can also ignite a spark of creativity you never noticed before. Take Minecraft, one of the most popular games of the 21st century, boasting 140 million players as of 2022. Minecraft isn't just about surviving, it's about designing. In Minecraft, you can build whatever you want to your heart's content. Castles, houses, arenas, ships, all available, limited only to your imagination. You can even build something underwater or in the sky, all tied to your creativity. In the real world, sometimes you have to think out of the box when other methods fail. Everyone copes with stress in their own ways. If left unchecked, stress can spiral out of control, leading to depression. Before it reaches that point, something has to be done. A popular solution is to game. Playing a game you enjoy can release a hormone called endorphins, which gives you a sense of pleasure. Games can act as a refuge, a sanctuary from the burdens in life. Games lead you to a whole other world, one where you can be free from the worries in reality, if only for a while. In conclusion, games played moderately can offer many benefits. So, 
If anyone ever tells you that games are bad for you, simply tell them that games can boost your vision, enhance your reaction times, improve communication, improve problem solving and decision making, inspire creativity and help cope with stress. I'm sure they won't bother you again. Thank you. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Thank you, Gabriel, for the very informative speech. Now, we would like to invite Kiwi Run from Leo Club to make an announcement regarding the Hunger Awareness Project. Thank you, jo Joyong and Jamin. My name is Kiwi Run from Leo Club. I'm going to represent about Leo Club Hunger Fundraising Project. This week is our final week for sales. The profit earned in this fundraising will be donated to the NGO named the Hop Branch. They will distribute meals to the needy in Dewan, Bandaraya, Kuala Lumpur. Their aim is to distribute 6,700 6, meals to homeless OKU blind community during MCO 3.0, especially those who have lost their job and income during this pandemic. You can scan the QR code to see the details for, the, for this charity project. We are selling chocolate brownies, drinks and badges today and Thursday we will be our final day. Do visit our booth during, booth during the Kistet 3 and Kistet 4 lunch break. This is open to students from Kistet 3, Kistet 4, Air Level and staff. Don't forget to pre-order as there are only limited quantity of brownie and chocolates. Today and th on Thursday, we are selling chocolate brownies at a cost of 5 each. Brittle Sport Chocolate at also at RM20. We also have a cold drink such as Ice Lemon Tea, Melo and Nescafe. Please take note that pre-order is not needed for canned drinks. Hunger badges are still available at the price of RM7. Do pre-order to get this limited edition badge. Check out our poster on Instagram. The Google Form link can be found on our Instagram page. Or you can also scan the QR code for our, on our poster for the Google Form link. If you are interested, please check out our Google Form for pre-order and more information about the sales. Please help the hunger together as a little goes a long way. Thank you. Back to you, Juyong and Jermin. Thank you, Ki Wan, and we hope you will support Leo Club's project. Next, we are going to announce some ongoing events. Please be informed that IMU will be coming over to our beloved school once again to help you all explore and learn about everything and anything related to the field of dentistry and pharmacy. All students are encouraged to join in to learn about these two interesting fields and get a hold of what IMU has to offer. Parents are also encouraged to join in if they are interested. This is happening today via Zoom. Please do come and register using the QR code or visit Enrich for more details. We look forward to seeing you there. Also, this week we'll have another double whammy as Monash will be conducting an interactive career workshop that has a surprise experiment that audience members can take part in. Monash University presents the topic When I Met With Water, Friend or Fall. This talk will be on the 17th of March, Thursday at 4.30 p.m. We hope you don't miss this exciting opportunity to get to know Monash better and see what they are able to offer you in terms of your educational growth. Please do visit Enrich for more details. Now we would like to give a gentle reminder about SOPs while we are back in school. Remember to wash your hands frequently, always have your mask on and maintain social distance. Also, please be informed that do not share foods or drinks with others, as well as please use the right stairs. With the increasing number of cases, let us as students maintain harmony within our school community. We continue to adopt the new norm and respond accordingly to our friends who have been affected by COVID. Let us respect each other's privacy and be responsible for the welfare of others. We are all in this together as we fight COVID. This marks the end of our assembly. I'm Jimmy. And I'm Ju Yong. Let us continue to stay strong and healthy and be responsible towards one another's safety against COVID. To end, we will watch this video from famous Pua Chu Kang. Have a good week in school.
Together, we can overcome. Yeah, one I'll teach you. <laughs> Cut! Good job, Chukang. Hey, thank you, Director. I go first, ah. Huh? Wait, please, we need your help. Okay, let's go! Some say lay, some say la. Get to spec, it's Uncle Fua. And me, Rosie! Everybody, it's time to vaccinate. Faster, do la. No time to wait. But you are easy, confirm say. Aya, Rosie, come on, be brave. The vaccine is not any hardware. And against COVID, it will protect. All this can take. There you see. If not sure, relax. Don't panic. Ask your doctor at the clinic. It's safe for most, including elderly. Cause the government got checked properly. Singapore, don't wait and see. Better get your shot. Study from BP. Faster go and vaccinate. Don't delay. Wait, wait, wait. But COVID numbers now so low. Why take now? Just take it slow. Ha! No cases, even no cases. Don't sabo and throw our face. The vaccine don't just protect us, it lessens the spread, now that's the plus. We don't catch it, means we don't spread it like that, that can keep people safe. Get it? Singapore, don't wait and see. Better get your shot. Steady boom, BB. Faster go and vaccinate. Don't do it when you win it, but wait. Singapore, don't wait and see. Better get your shot. Steady boom, BB. Don't play, play. I got my shot. Get yours too, okay? Your father never did you. <laughs>